it's not morning, it's evening. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, my name is King Mitchell. I'm a retired teacher, shop teacher, industrial arts teacher is what I call it. <clears throat> and, uh, whoops. Okay, and I am a substitute teacher now. And that means as far as I'm concerned, today, this evening, you're my students, okay? And so students, if you ever have a question while I'm talking, and I'll make every effort to make sure that there's enough time for you to ask a question at the end of my presentation to you, to ask a question, okay? You feel free to do so. All you have to do is stick your hand up and I will answer your question to the best of my ability, okay? I'm not an authority on the, on the Greek Gideons and uh, I, uh, quite honestly, I'm sorry, you know, there are two, the kids are still, some of the kids are still here. You see, what I want to say to you is that uh, when I was some of their ages that I saw, like this young man in the black shirt stand, over here, stand up a minute, sir, okay? Me being a teacher, me being a, uh, I'm a trumpet player, I play regularly at my church, and a Gideon, I'd have said, you're crazier than Lou. But I would have said, yeah. thank you. Okay? And, and uh, it just shows you what the Lord can do with a person. Yeah. R really, just like the disciples. Yeah. Just like the disciples. Fishermen. I don't, I'm not the authority on the disciples, that matter. But I, so I won't go any further than that. Uh, have a word of prayer with me for a second, please. Father, we just hallow and praise your name. Yes. All of the glory goes to you, Father. Gideon's International is your ministry, Father. We are your servants. Thank you for all that you are, all that you do. Father, thank you the instant we ask Christ into our life as personal Savior, you give us the gift of the Holy Spirit for eternity. Of course, we can't conceive of eternity, Father, at all never ending Father God. Thank you for thank you for the privilege of prayer, Father. Thank you for your word that you have preserved for us, Father. And most of all, thank you for Jesus Christ. Wow, what a sacrifice that he did. Help me to get out of your way so that you can say to your people what you want them to hear, Father. In the name of Christ to pray, and amen and amen. amen. Gideon International is an international ministry. There's over three 300,000 members, Gideon members, and auxiliary. Now, the auxiliary are the wives of the Gideons if they so choose to become an auxiliary member. Okay? Uh, we are global. About every three or four seconds, a Bible is given to a person in the world. Okay. About every three seconds. Okay. But let me emphasize something greatly to you. As I speak, every major continent of the world, every major continent of the world are waiting on their Bibles. Why don't they have them? Because Gideon's International does not operate on credit at all. And one of my <laughs> sweet, sweet relatives, ladies in my family, distance they are, they're distance away from me in terms of cousins from uh, in, in, in the Mitchell family, in the Mitchell family. And uh, one of them is 93 and the other one is 92. And I go by Hillsville, which they live, and the last time I was there, they asked me a question pertaining to, I'm sure the mailings that they get for, for her or for them to give money to organization for Bibles, to be Bibles passed out. And they asked me briefly, I will say, not in detail, 
Uh, do you know anything about that? And all I said to them was this. This Bible is about $5.25. This Bible is about $1.37 is what Gideon's International pays for these, okay, to have them published. Every penny that you give, every penny that you give goes to print that Bible and that Bible and get it to its destination. Every there, any monies that you get, there isn't a percentage of it that goes to somebody's salary. That doesn't happen with Gideon's International. Our Gideon, our Gideon dues pays for the salaries. Okay, and Gideon's has something called a faith fund program where the Gideons are asked to give an offering to do the same thing that we ask you to do in giving money to place Bibles again every major continent of the world wow wow okay we we have a well why I have this Bible in my hands or close to my hands this is a college and university testament okay all colleges and universities in West Virginia and Virginia, Gideons are on their campus once a year. We're getting ready to do Marshall and WVU, okay, within a week or two, okay? And what we do simply is to go to the, the uh, sidewalk where the kids are traveling to go to different classes at the college or university, okay? And we stand to the side and offer them a testament of which they can deny or take. Okay? Now listen to this closely. If we get it in their hands, there is a very, very high likelihood that they will come to Christ. They will ask Christ into their life. This has in the back of it my decision to receive Christ as my Savior, a prayer for which. Okay? In the front of it, which I really, really like myself, it has over or around 300 helps. 300 helps. Okay? That you can, and there, <laughs> there's none of us that don't have problems. Okay, and here's what God has to say, and if we'll be, if we, if really, if we, we'll, if we will be obedient to Him, it will work for our advantage. Right, right. But as Chuck Swindoll just said the other day on his sermon, this one likes to listen to a play, uh, to to uh, to sermons by Chuck Swindoll, and David Jeremiah, and, and a couple more of them. Okay, through OnePlace.com. I'll just pass that off to you through OnePlace.com. And this one uses I'm a bicycle rider, and I use it on the rail to trail dead today. Put it in my pocket right here in my lapel. Not with my jacket here, but with my other shirt on and listen to his sermon. Okay? And uh, and, and let, let me let me leave you with something else too. I highly encourage you to give Bibles yourself. There are different places that you can get them that look something like this. I've never bought one, so I can't say for certain I need to do that. Okay? So you can give. Of course, Gideon's International has a program called Friends of Gideon's. Friends of Gideon's. Okay? And you're committing, if you do this, you're committing to, to pray daily for Gideon's and to give five, ten, twenty dollars a month. Okay? And in doing so, you can buy the Bibles without the Gideon symbol on it. You can buy the Testament. And right here, I realize, <laughs> as classroom teacher, you can't see that clearly, but my finger's right on the symbol for Gideon's International, okay? 
So that's a program that you can do. And I have an application or two or three with me. And if you would like to do that, all you have to do is ask me at the end of the service. And I'll be glad to give it. And then it's between you and the Lord. Okay? But, but, but if, you, if, you get a, if you get a testament in your hand, like I said, I believe, within that day or the week or 20 years later, they will come to Christ. We have, <laughs> we, we Gideons get magazines about quarterly. They know about to it quarterly. Okay. Okay. And it will come with, I've never counted them, but I would say six to eight testimonies of people coming to Christ. God's Word says, my words as sharp as a double-edged sword. Yeah. Okay. And my word will not return to me void. It will accomplish for which I sent it. Okay. And this one here, this one here claims those promises. And we need to know them. And let me, let me give you a sweet little tip here. Okay. It's, it's John 14, 27. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. The Lord's talking to us now. Not as the world give I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And this one here has been greatly stressed out. Everybody has at one time or another. Okay. And I go to bed. And I start quoting that back to myself a dozen or two or three dozen times. And I have had the experience that it feels like the Holy Spirit just rises and settles me yeah. down. But as word God's Word says also, you have not because you've asked not. <laughs> In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I grew up in an Episcopal church and I had no clue at all of what was available to King Mitchell. Okay? Had no clue. Of course, really and truthfully, when we're young, there's a whole lot we don't understand. I'm going to leave it that way. A whole lot we don't understand. It takes us a while to do it, doesn't it? Okay? But I encourage you, that, you know, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Yeah, he wants us to thank him. Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. What a tremendous promise if we claim it. If we claim it. And as Chuck Swindoll says, coming to Christ as Savior is a rough road. It isn't full of joy and, and happiness every day. Still have problems. And, and, the more, and the more we work for Jesus Christ, the more of them we're going to have. Because Satan doesn't want King Mitchell up here. He wants me in the grave. Out of his way. I'm not going to hell because I've asked Christ into my life. Okay? Because I've asked Christ into my life. Let me uh, let me say to you also that we come to your your churches and and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. We Gideons consider it a privilege to be here and to get to tell you what we're doing to get a donation from you, possibly get a member or two from your church to be a Gideon. Okay? It's a business and professional men's organization. So if you're in management, you're a college graduate, and so forth, you can qualify to be a Gideon. Okay? 
we consider it a privilege, we thank you extremely much for us being allowed to be here. Okay? And your pastor's already, and my pastor, Dewey Love, has made it very clear that they really, really love the ministry of, Gideon, of, of Gideon's International. Yeah. Okay? Because we are global. We can be where you can't be. Now, I can't be everywhere, but, that, but there's Gideons that are. Okay? Okay? And, and we come to your, to your church also for your prayers. Please pray for Gideons daily. Please pray for Gideons daily. And in my mind, especially for the doors to distribution to be opened. As I made a comment earlier today, I don't think it, I did it here, I did it at another church. I spoke at another church this morning. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Satan doesn't want those Bibles going out at all, period, okay? Because of what I just got through saying, okay? And I had the uh, Lord allow me to have the opportunity to go to Chile, South America, the longest country in the world, if I learned before I went, okay? For international distribution, we do those too. There's about 10 of us from the U.S., one from Australia, okay? One man that was a, became a, we've, we've communicated over the telephone a number of times. He lives in New York. I called him once and told him about a distribution I just completed at a school. He said, you did what? Because it doesn't happen in New York. It doesn't happen in New York. The doors are closing to distribution. The doors are closing. Okay? Please pray. Especially in my mind, especially the fifth graders. Okay? The fifth, that's where the that's where our international guidelines say that they want the youngest age of kids, which are fifth graders, to receive the testaments. I already told you colleges and universities. Okay? In doctor's offices, hotel and motels, but you know that. Okay? Uh, being that I'm talking about prayer, let me tell you something that happened probably two or three years ago. Maybe four. I don't know exactly the date. Okay? Uh, a speaker at an international convention was talking to an assembly of Gideons. That's the that's convention. Okay? Several, several hundred, several hundred, maybe a couple, a couple thousand Gideons. I don't know the count. Okay. And he had a Gideon that was among the rest of us stand up. You'll find out why in just a second. Okay. And this took place in Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. Forest. Okay. And of course, this one here, I've never been there before, and I learned for one that the rivers in the Amazon rainforest are their roads. They don't have roads like we have. The rivers are their roads, okay? Well, there was a distribution planned at a Pacific location in the forest, for Amazon rainforest, okay? The boat was coming down the, the river for distribution. I'm sure they had these come with in box of a hundred each, a hundred testaments per box, and I would I would fully expect that they had uh, five or six hundred testaments here, five or six boxes, in other words, maybe more. I don't know. Wasn't there? Okay. Well, the boat comes down the, the river, and all of a sudden, the water becomes very rough. Remember Christ in the boat with the disciples? <laughs> I love that stuff myself, the Christ miracles. Right. And, 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 uh, and they woke Jesus up because they were about to get, they thought they were going to die. The water was rough. I think it was pouring the rain down too. I'm not sure of that part, but I know the water was very rough. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm laughing because Jesus stands up and says, Be calm. It was calm. Right. End of conversation. And I also learned since hearing that, that that body of water generally takes two to one to two weeks to calm completely down. I believe my numbers are correct. Okay. Well, the, the, uh, when the boat was moved close to the shore, the rain started pouring. And the Gideon that he had to stand up instantly started praying. <laughs> instantly the water stopped, the rain stopped, and the water became calm, and the distribution continued. I say that's that was that was in within probably two to four years somewhere around that. Don't know exactly the date. Okay. And all I'm saying, the only reason I'm saying that to you is to bring to your attention that prayer does work. All right. A fervent and effectual prayer of a righteous man availed as much. <laughs> of course, I don't know that I consider King Mitchell a righteous man. Okay. But nevertheless, that doesn't change God's word at all. Right. Okay. Uh, and let me let me throw another testimony at you. This took place. This took place over in Europe, I believe. I don't remember the exact location of it. Okay. There was a distribution, a sidewalk distribution, like the same as the same procedure as a college or university. We stay to the side of a sidewalk and hold a Bible out and ask, if, "Would you like a test a Bible?" Okay. Well, we are not supposed. To, oh, come on, go ahead and take a Bible. You, you'd like this. We aren't to coerce anybody. Period. Period. Okay. But one Gideon did. <clears throat> and the boy was a boy. Took the took the testament. He didn't want it. Took the testament. And he got around to the corner of the school. Now their trash can's a little different than ours. Quite a bit bigger. And he threw the testament in the garbage. His word doesn't return void. <laughs> okay. There happened to be a man in the garbage can, a homeless man. The testament hit him in the head, woke him up. He read some of it, joined the local, joined the local church. Okay. Well, let me throw another one at you real fast. There was another uh, another distribution, I believe, it was in Europe as well, at a school. And a group of Gideons and a area director. Area director covers maybe a couple of uh, in for for the United States, West Virginia, maybe two or three, or maybe maybe two or three states. Okay. So the director there wanted to go along with him, so he did. And when they got to the school, they they went in and talked to the principal and asked if they could do a distribution. And they were denied. No, you're not doing any distribution here. I don't know. The, I don't remember the, the conversation as to what the principal said. Okay. So they left. They got in their vehicle and they started off. And the area director said, "Wait a minute here. Let's pray about this a minute." So they did pray about it. They prayed enough about it. They came up with a plan. Remember the Battle of Jericho? The walls came tumbling down. Okay. Well, they came back to the school. They didn't go on school property. They, there was a wall there. Okay. And they started walking around the school. Well, you know what kind of attention that would get, I would expect. The principal got air of that and he said, uh, gave orders or told them to come in or he wanted to talk to them. So they did. They went in and they talked to him. And they said, what are you doing out there, the Gideons? What are you doing, Gideons, out there? I said, well, we, we just decided to walk around your, your school because and they t he told them about the Battle of Jericho and the walls came tumbling down. And the principal said, we don't want our walls to come tumble down. Come right on in or do your distribution. Okay? So there's all... There's all <laughs> Uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, there's all kinds of testimonies that we have. One man made a comment, wow, 
that he was on a university, uh, a university in Florida during a distribution. And to make the story real short, he. Uh, the man uh, got a testament. He didn't want to the one year that he was there, but he took a testament another year. And his testimony is about the one he took the testament, of course. And he took it home, and he put it down, and he wanted to throw it away. But he said, because it was in the way, he wanted to throw it away, but the Holy Spirit got to him, and he didn't do that. Okay? So there, there ended up being he wanted to do he wanted to throw away it several times, okay, because it was taking up space as far as he was concerned. Okay, then he had a very, very trying circumstance. He didn't describe that. Okay, so much so that he went over and got that testament and came to Christ. <laughs> came to Christ. And he said the, the euphoric feeling that he had within his body was greater than any of the alcohol or drugs that he had ever used. He had ever used. And he really thanked the Gideons for, for being there on the, in the distribution. Okay? So as I said, there are a number of different testimonies that we get regularly. And uh, so this one here, every chance that I get for wherever I am, and I'm not trying to ele ele elevate King Mitchell here at all, but I give another one out that I like the best that has over 300, 300 helps in the front of it. Okay? Okay? But as I said, please pray for the distribution of Bibles, especially in the United States, especially in West Virginia. Okay? Especially in West Virginia. Please pray for the different counties to open their doors to the distribution of Bibles to fifth graders. Okay? And, and also, and of course, this is a... Uh, this is a directive from our Lord that once we come to Christ and accept Him as our personal Savior, He expects us to talk, to bring that to other people's attention. <laughs> like my sister I used to go to her house down in Atlanta and see what she had on TV and what came out of her mouth. And I said, Sis, are you Christian? I'm as good as you are in some ways better. I heard repeatedly when I went down there to visit her. And then finally, after a number of those, she finally came to Christ and did a 180 turn. Okay. And of course, King Mitchell did too. He, he was invited, 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 and invited to go to a revival. Working at Purity Baking Company in Charleston. I'm from Charleston. Okay. And uh, so I finally went to make that story real short. I, um, he, <laughs> he also persuaded me to go forward when the invitation was given. It was a revival. Okay. And I did. And. Uh, and then we left together, and I told him, well, I don't feel any different than I did when I came in. He said, you better be careful what you're saying now. Okay. And then on we went to a fast food, and he told me to read the book of John. Okay. Uh, and I did. And he, uh, we, I left. We didn't come together, so I let, got in my vehicle and started home. And part of the way home, I felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. And he took my filthy mouth away. And just, especially <laughs> a lady at uh, my first school was Huntington East High School. <clears throat> and I always had the, the expression about things, well, Jesus Christ. And, uh, and my next door neighbor asked me one day, very shortly after I came to Christ, Mr. Mitchell, what happened to you? I said, what are you talking about? 
because I didn't realize anything. And she told me after, in private, between she and I, she said, well, you used to use that expression all the time that I just said, and you don't do that anymore. So he changed King Mitchell a lot. So King Mitchell, at one of another school that I was at, I, I, I like to talk to people, and uh, I went in and talked to the secretary and asked her if she was a Christian. I don't buy that bunch of junk she, I got from her. And I had given her, I'm sure, a testament. Not this one, but a testament. Okay? Probably gave her a used Bible that we take out of hotel motels. We check them every year. Okay? And to make my story short, I had talked to her about Christ several times. And I found, I, after I retired, and she did too, from Oak Hill High School, she walks up to me at a, at a uh, parking lot in Oak Hill and told me that she had a dream. And the bottom line, she came to Christ. And she, did, she sent me an email to this effect. Oh, happy day. I, 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 I so happy. I wanted to let you know the most important thing I've ever done in my life. Thank God I've, I got saved yesterday and the devil has been fighting me for a long time. Night before last in my dream I knew I was, it was time for me to give my life, my heart to Jesus. So I'm so happy he saved me. I feel like a heavy weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Please be, please, please be to Jesus who saved my soul. Praise be to Jesus is misread there. Okay? And then she said also, hey old man, that's what she called me all the time. Yes, I am a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because I emailed her. And I hope you and Chris did also. Chris is my wife. Christ and I are getting along fine and dandy. I never dreamed that my life would have changed so much for the better. And, and all of this is just the little planting of the seed with her and Jesus Christ brought her to Christ. Right. It's a great feeling. I love him more every each day. I have missed it. I haven't <laughs> missed a service of any kind since I was saved on April 1, 12, 2012. Except for last Wednesday when services <clears throat> when our electric was out. Okay. I love to participate in church and activities and meetings and have fellowship with other members of the congregation. It's awesome. Thank you for the Bibles you gave me and thank you for being one of the persons who introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he expects us to do. So King Mitchell's not trying to lift King Mitchell up. I'm, all I'm trying to say is that that's what he expects us to do. Right. He expects us to do that. Okay. And again, I, I highly... Oh, and I, it's about out, and I will be filling it up, but I encourage you to use the Memorial Bible cards. Okay? That way you're placing Bibles in different places. Okay? Okay, my students. Do any of you have any questions? Any questions at all? Yes, I did a good job then, didn't I? <laughs> got, got, got a cross, got it across to The auxiliary does that. They pass out to nurses when they graduate from nursing school. It's a white testament. Yes, sir. That still takes place. That still takes place. Any other questions or comments? Well, let me say to you also that I have it on my phone, my iPhone. The Gideons have a free download of the Bible. I think they offer you a couple of versions. Okay? Have a download on, the, on your telephone where you can read the Bible and hear it at the same time or hear it and not read it, whichever. And this one went to California to an International Trumpet Guild convention and I listened to the to Genesis and Exodus and so forth on my way there. But I just wanted to bring that to you. And also you can give to the Gideons online too. You can give to the Gideons online. Okay? Any other questions?
questions or comments? I highly appreciate you allowing me to be here. It's a huge blessing as far as I'm concerned from you. I enjoy your church and the fellowship of your members here. Okay. No more questions. Well, thank you, Pastor. Turn the service back over to you.